Hey guys, Matt. Mike. Iron Trap Garage. Uh, we've been talking about a lot of sheet metal work lately. I've just been focused on getting the body uh, kind of straightened out and finish welding. And in the meantime, we got our radiator. And Three months later. <laughs> and, and that is not necessarily the, uh, the guy doing the radiator's fault. It's, it's me. Uh, this thing's been done since like before Hershey, I think. So a month later. A month later, I finally got around to picking it up. But um, we did a ton of custom work to this in another video a while ago. If you guys have been following along, I took two different. Um, I took a 32 bottom tank, a Model A top tank, chopped it down, welded the frame up. Uh, what I have him do is fill in the center with a, a brand new core. So he did some trickery to get a core that flows the best and will cool the most efficiently, uh, while still using original tanks. So it kind of looks like original, you know, it's not like a, a walker or one of those reproduction ones that it looks like sheet metal form tanks. They work great, but for me I like the original kind of pressed steel um, or pressed brass looking tank. So what we're going to work on today is getting this fitted. Uh, this is a problem that pretty much anytime you're building a period correct car, if you will, or especially a flathead car, is figuring out the radiator hoses. This car is especially difficult because the radiator drops down in front of the cross member uh, and it's quite small, it's tight against the cross member, it's like nothing's easy about this whole setup. So we're going to work on, I did some internet searching and found uh, just a basic 90 degree hose. You would not believe how hard it is to find a formed 90 degree radiator hose. We went to one parts store and asked to look at the radiator hoses and there was hoses that went in every direction but one that went in just a 90 degree. We found some that were close but they had uh, like offsets in them and yeah. they, it wasn't going to work. So Matt did some useful internet searching. Yeah, so we found, I had to run part numbers and this hose is we got it at a local like Napa uh, auto parts, just a local auto parts store privately owned um, and I had to do some parts number swapping to find the brand that they offer, and it's a Gates uh, 20957. Two, yeah, 20957, just a simple one and three quarters inside diameter with a straight and a 90 on it. Perfect for using on a flathead V8 car. And uh, we found that it actually should work on the top too, but we're focusing on the bottom today because that's so unique on this car, and we got to get that. Uh, definitely figured out. So we'll fit the radiator up and start cutting the hoses down and uh, hopefully have something hooked up here. Alright, so uh, I didn't really do much of anything, but... I didn't really do much of anything either. It was pretty easy. <laughs> More than I So, had. we actually realized we ordered two hoses for the bottom, and after we started looking at things, we realized we actually needed four hoses. Uh, the 90s actually worked perfect for up top. Now, the Pagoda City Coupe, the metal pipes actually have the bend in them, yep. but the way that everything kind of worked out, it's easier just to use the silicone hose. We got straight pieces of pipe, and it's basically done. We do need to figure out a reducer setup here for the radiator. The top of the necks are actually smaller. So we need to either have a reducer hose or weld on a reducer to the pipe. We haven't figured out what we're going to do yet, but it's basically done. It's all mounted and it looks awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything looks, even in the back. 
uh, with how the hose goes and, and kind of just follows the cross member really nicely. It all flows really well. It uh, looks kind of like it's supposed to be like that. It doesn't look too forced. The big problem I had with doing this whole radiator setup when we decided to drop it in front and below the cross member was the hoses. All the old cars that I've seen that were done back in the day this way, they kind of shoved the hoses between the spring and the axle or they did some weird snaked um, coolant lines. Like they the, used the bendy hose. Yeah, well not even that. Just the, like the Casa Coupe, if anybody's seen that, it's a pretty, pretty famous uh, 32 that has a similar setup. Uh, his, the ones that they had on that, they like go under the spring, around, and then they loop back up like this. It's kind of weird how they do that, but um, I think this is probably the cleanest way I, I could think of to do it, and it worked out pretty good. So the radiator came out really nice, sits low, everything's really, really tight on it, like the cap. We're going to probably change to a four-prong cap, but the cap is like right on the hose, but everything was built to just fit. We can fit up. Um, a hose clamp around everything, everything will be tight, but it will all fit pretty well, and uh, this is kind of a nice thing. I, I, I want to throw the body back on, but we're kind of out of time, but I really want to throw the body on to see how this all looks, because I don't think we've had everything on together in quite a while, so to even see what this all looks like would be pretty exciting. So hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be at a point where we can throw the body back on and just kind of remind everybody what this looks like. Hopefully it won't be too cold out or snowy that we can push it outside and like really Definitely. stand back and look at it. It's so, it's so much more gratifying actually like standing back and getting the whole picture rather than like shuffling around the shop yeah. to get the, the right angle. It seems really small when you get it outside. You're like, holy crap, this is like Especially a good Especially next to both of our trucks. It's like <laughs> the size, the height of the tire. It's ridiculously low. It's going to be awesome. Yes. So that's all we have for this one. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hopefully, you guys uh, maybe got some ideas if you are building a car in the same way. This is just the way that I figured it out. is isn't the end all. It's just what we kind of figured out and seems to work well. Maybe it gives you some ideas. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.